In 2020, over 18 million new cases of cancer were diagnosed around the world. Chances are you know someone who has been diagnosed with cancer, maybe even in your own family. But with recent developments, we now have single cell data at scale that we're only just beginning to understand. And we believe by bringing the power of machine learning and the biomedical sciences together, we can use this data to develop novel cancer therapies. The future of cancer care is immunotherapy, using the body's innate mechanisms to attack the cancer. The idea of harnessing our immune system to fight tumors is actually relatively new. Scientists have made most of the key breakthroughs in cancer immunotherapy in the last 10 years. In particular, to make T-cells, known as the killer cells of our immune system, better at destroying cancer cells. T-cells often lose against tumors because cancer cells send signals that cause them to malfunction. The T-cells become exhausted and they can't do their jobs, and the cancer cells take over. But what if we could stop this from happening? Using gene editing technologies like CRISPR, it has been possible to direct cells from one state to another. So maybe we could identify specific genetic modifications or perturbations that could keep the T cells active. Simple enough, right? The problem is that there are approximately 20,000 individual gene modifications that we could make. So how can we narrow down the 20,000 possibilities to just the perturbations that are most likely to work? That is, to equip T cells to both kill tumors and survive long enough to eliminate any lingering cancer cells. This is where you come in. We need algorithms that can model the potential effects of these combinations of perturbations. And then we can validate which ones could turn T cells into tumor fighters. This is why the Eric and Wendy Schmidt Center at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, in collaboration with TopCoder and other contributors, is hosting the Cancer Immunotherapy Data Science Challenge on reprogramming T cells to combat tumors. Starting in the 2010s, technologies like single cell sequencing have created a wealth of data about our genes, cells, and tissues, enabling breakthroughs in patient treatment. But the methods to analyze this data have lagged behind. That's in part because machine learning experts have mostly worked at tech companies and financial industries on recommender systems like Amazon or search engines like Google and not in biology. Data science challenges are an increasingly important way to direct machine learning enthusiasts towards scientific discovery. In these challenges, companies and universities crowdsource solutions for data-heavy problems. In this Cancer Immunotherapy Data Science Challenge, we're inviting participants from all over the world to design algorithms that identify the most promising perturbations to reprogram T cells to combat cancer. And this Data Science Challenge is really unique in that the predictions from the top submissions will be experimentally validated in the lab. So your algorithms could actually change the course of how we treat cancer. You might be wondering, is biology experience required for this challenge? No. We're going to provide a bio crash course and the data. All that's missing is you and your algorithms. Participants will predict the effect of genetic modifications on T cells and then propose metrics for evaluating the success of these changes. Then, we'll test in the lab which T cell modifications are best at killing cancer cells. This will take place during the spring. We will award monetary prizes at the conclusion of each stage of the challenge, and top participants will be invited to become an author on resulting publications. Code, data, and algorithms from the challenge will also be made open source for community use. The meaning of breakthrough is in the word. New ideas must break through the bounds of traditional approaches to address the most pressing questions at the intersection of machine learning and biology. This work, which could be your work, may add a crucial stepping stone to the great scientific quest, fighting cancer with our own immune system.